Hello everyone, we are back for our next read aloud, and today we are going to be reading a picture book of Cesar Chavez. It's by David A. Adler and Michael S. Adler, illustrated by Marie Olaf Stodder. Um, this is a fantastic biography about um, someone who definitely did some very important things in history. Um, but so, you will be inspired by this fascinating life story of this champion of social justice. Uh, social justice is all about uh, doing what's right for other people. Um, you know, probably the biggest connection you would have would be Martin Luther King Jr. Um, it's about, about, about equality, trying to fight for equal rights for all people, um, especially especially African Americans. Um, but that's what you're going to get to discover all about Cesar Chavez today. Uh, as we are doing this, I'm going to go to school. I'm going to go into. Uh-oh, closed out on me. Sorry, everyone. Here we go. We're going to be looking at... Oh, really off here. Here we go. Looking at this goal, we are going to be... Um, now, if you remember, with biography, we always have two goals. We have a reading goal and a social studies goal. And we're going to start at our reading goal, and I can determine. Ready? I can determine the main idea of a text in key details for support. Remember that determine means to figure out, and main idea is like a one sentence big idea. And we're also gonna be fo- and we're also focusing on the key details, the most important facts. Now you're gonna see with our graphic organizer today, um, that we're gonna be using, this is a new one, but it's also similar to ones that, we've been, that we have been using. We are gonna be looking for more like key details, but our key details are going to be so big, they really are going to be the main ideas of each part of this person's life. Because we're, we're going to be breaking down this person's life into their, like, when they're really young, till they're starting to become um, a little bit older, a kid into kind of like teenage years, their adulthood, um, when, they're, when they're older. And we're going to be looking for the biggest, biggest parts, which really are the main ideas, and but those are like the really big main idea key details about them. Um, and then as we're doing that, we're going to be using all of this to our social studies goal. So let's read it at I Can Explain. Ready? I can explain how specific or certain people, like Cesar Chavez, have done important actions or things to help change the world around them in history. So past events. Make sure I'm not going to lose my book here. So I'm going to show you now what we're going to be doing today in Schoology. So we are in Biography, Lesson 11, which you've already opened, Conflicts and Struggles. So you do not have a Step 1, because I'm doing Step 1 right now, it's the video. Um, You are going to be doing Step 2. Step 2, after after you're all done listening to my story, um, there's going to be a discussion board question. You're going to answer it, and then you're going to comment on at least one other person's uh, discussion board um, comment. I get you know answer. I should say you're so you're gonna answer it and then you're gonna make a comment on somebody else's answer. I'm um, like a good positive appropriate comment about just on um, what you thought about their thinking. Um, but right now I'm gonna be opening up this opening notability and we are gonna be looking at this um, this note taker. So it's called Biography, Conflict, and Struggle Note Taker. So you're going to see there's five sections. It's kind of similar to the ones we have been using, but this one we're going to be focusing really on conflict and struggle. And remember that the word conflict and struggle means like problems or like they're big issues. Make sure I'm going to lose my book here. All right. So time periods. What were the struggles or conflicts for my person in their very early life? So like when they're really, really young. You know, and right now, before I even do anything, because I always like to send this to Notability, I was just getting excited about talking about our new graphic organizer. Remember you get this, hit the blue create new note, top right corner, hit the word import. Make sure I get my name up on top. Johnson. Here we go. So, right here, the word conflict and struggle, that really means problem. So, what are their big problems? And so, just as I was saying, early life is when they are very young. They're going to be looking at what were the conflict and struggles 
for my person in there, or for the struggles or conflicts for my person in their childhood or youth. So when they're just, you know, really when like when they're kids. Or when he was a kid. What were the struggles or conflicts for my person in their adulthood? So really? As is when they're an adult. Adult or grown up. In your opinion, what was your character's largest struggle? So out of all the problems from when they are really, really young to when they're kids to an adult, what's their largest struggle? And this really is more of an opinion. So it's what do you think? And then the last one, how did dealing with these struggles or obstacles? So we have the word struggles or obstacles again. Obstacle means the same thing, big problem. Um, obstacles help your person succeed or what did they learn from them? So succeed meaning um, like do something really good. And so that, I guess that's because we've asked that same question before. How, oh, I lost it. I'll send back in really quick. So as I'm signing in, so I said, and that what question there I was talking about is, how does that help that person succeed? How does that help that person like do better? Here we go. And do really big, important things. So just thinking about this, this person had to go through all of these conflicts, all of these struggles, and what was like, what was actually good about that? Even though they had to go through these pro had all these problems, what was a positive good thing about that? So we're gonna be thinking about this this whole time, um, and you're gonna be when you when you're doing your own book today. That's what I really want you to think about with your person too, breaking it into these different parts: when they're really young, when they're kids, when they're an adult. In your opinion, what was the character's largest struggle? Um, and then some big important things um, that they got from all those struggles and conflicts. But we'll definitely start reading um, his kind of young to um, to like his childhood. So a picture book of Cesar Chavez. As a child, Cesar Chavez traveled with his family from one farm to the next to pick beans, broccoli, lettuce, and other crops. After a day in the fields, his back often ached. His hands were sore. Yet Chavez and others who helped yet Chavez and others who helped put food on Americans' tables often had no tables of their own. No real homes. Later, Cesar Chavez would lead the fight for better pay, working conditions, and health care for families such as his. So we already kind of get to see here. Um, as, a, as a young child, he was a farmer, and his family was a family of farmers. Um, but it sounds like they had some struggles when he was growing up. And that's where you can see later he would lead the fight for better pay working conditions, and health care for families such as his. Cesar Chavez was born on March 31st, 1927, near Yuma, Arizona. His parents, Labrado and Juana Chavez, were farmers. Cesar was the second of their five children. Cesar's father was often too busy to spend time with the family. It was Cesar's mom who kept them together. She told her children stories. She taught them values and many proverbs, such as, what you do to others, others do to you. And that's what I like what a proverb is. A proverb is kind of like a kind of like a fable, or like a lesson. Caesar woke up early each morning and did the usual farm chores. He carried water from the nearby, nearby canal, fed the animals, and gathered eggs. Then he went to school. The Chavez family spoke Spanish at home, but in school, whenever Caesar spoke Spanish, his teacher hit him. It's a terrible thing, he later said, when you have your own language and customs and those are shattered. So you can even see on the chalkboard, they're making him speak English. A very, very sad thing. Cesar Chavez grew up, grew up during the Great Depression. People everywhere lost their jo jobs. In 1938, Caesar's parents lost their farm and moved to California. Caesar's father soon found work for the family picking peas. They walked, bent over, between the rows of plants. For a full hamper, 25 pounds of peas, they earned 20 cents. 
When the work on that farm was done, the family moved on. They picked string beans, lima beans, broccoli, lettuce, sugar beets, cauliflower, onions, carrots, tomatoes, cantaloupe, watermelon, and grapes. When the farm boss was especially unfair, when work conditions were especially bad, Caesar's father said, Okay, let's go, and they quit. Caesar Chavez later remembered, Our dignity meant more than money. So that last sentence there. So meaning, dignity meaning like, you know what, I know I'm good. I'm not going to let other people do mean things to me. This is going to be hard, but we're going to quit. Even though we need this money, I'm not going to let anybody treat us this way. So they would just quit and go. The Chavez family, like many others, had no real home. One in winter, with nowhere else to go, they slept in a tent in a woman's yard. The family moved around so much that Caesar attended 65. He attended 65 elementary schools, some for just a day or a week. In 1942, after his father was hurt in a car accident, 15-year-old Caesar dropped out of school to earn money for his family. In 1944, in the midst of World War II, Caesar Chavez enlisted in the U.S. Navy. And that's... Um, yeah, I, you know, I should. This is kind of almost more. He's starting to grow up. He's starting to get a little bit into his adulthood here. So actually, I'm gonna, I am gonna stop there. Um, I was gonna stop after this part, but you know what? I'm gonna stop right here. Right here. This almost this is the most like a, a good point in between his, because especially after like he has to he had to quit school and now he's starting to work to support his family. Um, it almost is a good point because now he kind of is done being a kid. He is now having to earn the money for his family, so now he really is becoming an adult here. So in 1942, after his father was hurt in a car accident, 15-year-old Caesar dropped out of school to earn money for his family. So, going back to the graphic organizer, I want you just to think about, okay, what was this? What were his struggles or conflicts in the early life, really young life, and then um, what were his struggles or conflicts for the person when he is just a kid? So think about what would you what would you put there, and for your own graphic organizer, we're going to try to get two to three key details for each of these boxes. If, uh, you have to get at least one in each one, but our goal is to get two or three. So just think about that, um, and then we'll rejoin. <laughs>